Wait till you see what's new in Waveform 12. If you'd like Waveform 12 Pro for free, I'm running a competition. Traction have given me a copy of Waveform 12 Pro for the winner of this competition. And all you've got to do is create the best track. Stick around to later on in the video and I'll give you more details. And if you want to buy it, it'd be great if you'd click the affiliate link below. It would help my channel a lot. There's so many good new things here. The first thing you'll notice the difference in is the color scheme. We've got options now. And not only that, but we've got a dark mode, a light mode, and we've got this custom mode as well. And when we move to our own screens, we can see it in real time changing. Saturation. So you can do all sorts. Pick the, pick the various colors for the various things. Brilliant. Settings here, look. All of these different ones. So many to choose from. But I kind of like the way the color scheme was in the previous one. So you'll notice this is kind of similar, similar to waveform 11. Here's where things get interesting, right? In the actual thing itself. You notice here, for one thing, there's um, a whole new browser. And it's wonderful, way, way, way easier to use than it ever was before. So you've got plugins, presets, and you can pick from your presets and your racks and everything like that. Um, racks there, look, scroll through them, samples, clips, tracks. All results at once. Smart lists. You can add bookmark folders. Lots of stuff going on there. The first new thing that's there is the browser has changed over here as well. So you can now type in what it is you're looking for. So say I want a compressor. Type in compressor. It shows me all the compressors that I've got. That's amazing. What about I want um, chorus? There we go. All the different choruses. Doesn't stop there. Here's what else we've got. We've got all these new effects. So you'll notice here that these things look different to what they did before. So this is a one band equalizer that I've just set up there just to give you a demonstration of what it looks like. Here is an eight band equalizer. It shows you what's going on in it. Still have these lovely LFOs on each track. Here's a three band equalizer, which can be really useful sometimes. Just nice and simple, frequency and gain. I like it. Next down here, Here's an 8-band equalizer just set up to give you a demonstration of what, I don't know, what sort of curves you can do. And you've got all these different different things here, like low pass, low shelf, peak, band pass, all of that stuff. It's right there. Q, slope, frequency, all the things. Works just like the one that comes in um, in DAW Essentials. So I like that. There's a DJ EQ, low, mid, high, frequency 1, frequency 2. That's one worth playing with. Next, DJ filter, frequency and Q, limiter, a nice simple limiter. Sometimes that's all you need. Gain, release and ceiling. Chorus. It's been changed from before. So here's what the old chorus was like. Depth, sweep, width and amount. Now we've got delay, depth, sync, rate, mix. And we've got modes as well. So it's quite an upgrade. Here we have the upgraded compressor. With side chain, threshold, ratio, attack, release, knee, output gain, side chain, controls here. And it shows you what kind of compressor you've, what kind of compressor that you've got on the track. And it shows you right here. Next we've got delay. This is quite a comprehensive delay. Left and right sides, mix, sync on and off. So that syncs up the left and the right side. So crossovers and all kinds of things. Distortion. This is a new one. This is nice. I was inclined to use the bit crusher a bit before, especially once I learned how to use it in a rack using different LFOs and steps and stuff. That can be a lot of fun to use. But this distortion is cool as well. Just a regular distortion. And you've got different types, light, medium, hard, clip, tube, fuzz, drive, post gain, tone, emphasis and mix. Phaser. Nice phaser here. Guitar IR. This one is brilliant. All these different amps, cabinets, effects, hardware, reverb. Oh yeah, the reverbs are fun. So the nice spring reverbs in here. They're very true. Similar to real spring reverbs. Spaces then, which are kind of alternative reverbs. Normalize and trim silence. This is wonderful. Some presets in there. All of it is great. Dual guitar IR. Now this, this is basically like having two different amps at the same time. And the frequencies come up here on left and right. I'll do a video about this very soon and uh, demonstrate all of this stuff. Today is just a video just giving you a quick overview of all the things. Next, we haven't even got to my favourite one yet. A gate is what it does. and It's a gate. You choose the, the lowest threshold and it doesn't let things through from under that. Now, reverbs. They've been upgraded greatly. The first one's natural reverb. So look at this. Pre-delay, size, decay, slope, density diffusion, low cut, high cut, low damp, high damp, pan, mix. That's wonderful. Some nice presets to get you started. 
Here's a plate reverb, great. Nonlinear reverb. This one is uh, really cool as well. You can do stuff with a non-linear reverb that you can't do with a regular reverb. And I'll do a video about that soon too. All of this stuff, there's going to be lots of videos. Bass oscillator. Now, remember the 4 uh, I did a video about that a while back. This bass oscillator is fantastic. One thing I'd like to be able to do with it though, is I'd like, I'd like if there was a tuning thing on it that could tune the frequency in small increments so that you could slightly offset one against the other. There's ways around that. You can use a pitch shifter. But anyway, here, here's the basic idea. That's a lovely parameter. And then you've got things like... Um, Presets. Oh well, there may be presets by the time it comes out for real. Where this really comes into its own is when you start using LFOs to get it to do stuff. Like for example, if I set this up to work with the wave. Anyway, that's one for another video very soon. Rampler. Nice grand piano tone. There's also things like bass. That's D, that's as low as it goes. Next. You notice actually, you can get all the presets here, and then you can add effects in there. You turn them on here. You get all these effects. And these effects internally in the plugins, they're going to be in the sampler as well and in the drum sampler. Fantastic. Let's just put on a reverb. You've got all that control. Spectrum analyzer. Another great new feature in Waveform 12 is remove silence. And if you do things like this, like podcasts or stuff like that, then you often end up having to cut little silent sections out, move your audio, but with this it, you can do it all automatically. You can get all of those chops done and then you can move things in close together. I'll do a video about that soon too. So back to the competition. If you want to win Waveform 12 Pro, then all you've got to do is write the best track using Waveform Free. Download Waveform Free and using only free stuff, make a track and drop your links in the comments below to your track. If you Put it on SoundCloud or on YouTube or wherever else it may be. SoundCloud and YouTube are handy places. They're easy to get to. The winner will be announced on Saturday the 26th of March 2022. Best of luck. And I'm looking forward to hearing the tracks. And I'll feature some of my favourite bits in a future video as well. Use Waveform Free and free software to make the best track that you possibly can. And drop a link below. Let's see who wins. Good luck. See you soon.